With 90% of the vote, the fans' favorite choice for greatest player in Padres history is undoubtedly Tony Gwynn. Tony Gwynn's remarkable Padres career began July 19, 1982, with two hits against the Philadelphia Phillies and baseball's all-time hits leader, Pete Rose, who asked Tony if he was trying to catch him in one game. Pete obviously knew hitting talent when he saw it. What does Tony remember about his first hit? Double left center, Pete trails the play, flash on the board, first big league hit, shakes my hand, says congratulations, starts to walk back to first, uh, turns around and says, He'll try to catch me in one night, kid. When Tony's surefire Hall of Fame career ended in October of 2001, he had amassed 3,141 hits that included eight batting titles. In the history of baseball, only Ty Cobb won more batting championships than Gwynn. Tony's historic 3,000th hit came August 6, 1999, in Montreal. Line drive, center field. Tony became only the 22nd player in baseball history to achieve 3,000 hits, and he finished his career 16th all-time in total hits. Well, some of these Padres fan favorite selections might have surprised you a little bit. Here's one that won't surprise anybody. Tony Gwynn voted the greatest Padre of them all by Padres fans. And Tony, now that you've been removed for almost a year, believe it or not, you sit back, you reflect on 20 years. Tell me what this selection means to you. Well, it's nice that, uh, you know, fans feel like, you know, you were uh, one, of the, one of the best. Um, in my mind, I think I think playing in one city has a lot to do with it because, uh, um, to me, there are other players that, you know, were more productive, had more of an impact on their particular clubs. But um, in my case, you know, I, I, I spent my whole career here, so I think a lot of people probably feel like, you know, you're part of the family. They're both in. Uh, part of the family, but you know, I had some productive years here. I, I don't think there's any doubt about that. I think uh, uh, what I did, I was very good at. Tony Gwynn using that 5.5 hole. That's where this man has made his living for 17 years, right there. People talk about Tony Gwynn, they will remember one of the greatest hitters of all time. What they don't usually talk about up front, at least, is all the hard work yeah. that went into doing that the preparation, the on field stuff, the video preparation. It took a lot of hard work. I was one of those guys that. Uh, I guess the best way to describe it is that I was talented, you know, I had this ability, and I really didn't know what the heck I was doing with it, and I had to try to figure out how to get it out, how to be consistent with it, and uh, so I went to work, you know, and hit every day, hit the cage, do the video stuff, pay attention, I tried to pay attention to details because to me, if it gave me an edge, then, you know, I was all for it. And, you know, talking to a couple of Hall of Famers really changed my career. Sam Musial and Ted Williams really had a huge impact on my career because they taught me. They Really what they did was they told me to trust, you know, the things that I did and be a little bit more aggressive with it. And it, it paid huge dividends. So uh, I went from a 329 lifetime hitter to really 340 until the last two years of my career. And so, um, you know, I... I I was lucky. I was able to thank both of them, too, and, and uh, their impact, uh, their words of encouragement, their knowledge really helped me to become a better hitter. I think one of the